Let friends in your social network know what you are reading about Walmart apologized after its Twitter account, mistakenly, called Senator Josh Hawley a sore loser over his plan to object to electoral college results. A link has been sent to your friend's email address. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. Senator Josh Hawley, Armo, speaks during a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing on Capitol Hill in Washington, Wednesday, September 30, 2020, to examine the FBI, Crossfire Hurricane, investigation. Photo, Stefani Reynolds, AP Walmart apologized Wednesday to Senator Josh Hawley for a tweet it said was mistakenly sent after the retailer's Twitter account called the Missouri Republican, a sore loser, over his announced plan to object to the Electoral College results next week. A close ally of President Donald Trump, Hawley is the first senator to announce his plan to object to electoral votes from some states won by President-elect Joe Biden. Some conservative House Republicans have also said they will object on January 6 to electoral votes from states such as Pennsylvania and Georgia, in a move to overturn Biden's 306-232 electoral victory. After Hawley tweeted Wednesday morning that he planned to join the effort, a tweet issued from Walmart's Twitter account read, Go ahead. Get your two-hour debate. Hash sore loser. Stimulus check Q&A. What happens if payments go from $600 to $2,000? New Year's Eve and New Year's Day hours, when Target, Walmart, other stores are open, plus who is closed soon after that? Holly responded, thanks at Walmart for your insulting condescension. Now that you've insulted 75 million Americans, will you at least apologize for using slave labor? And in a follow-up tweet, he jibed, or maybe you'd like to apologize for the pathetic wages you pay your workers as you drive mom and pop stores out of business. Subsequently, Walmart deleted that tweet, saying it was mistakenly posted by a member of our social media team. In addition to apologizing to Holly, Walmart noted the company has no intention of commenting on the subject of certifying the Electoral College. Copyright 2020 USA Today, a division of Gannett Satellite Information Network, LLC.